Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. As you can see, we're back in the mud room because it is day 18. And day 18 of hatching eggs is known as lockdown day. So um, a few videos back, I candled the eggs and that was actually on day, um, about day eight. Um, I don't think I said that, but it, it was a little while back. I just took a little bit to get the video out. But um, some of you asked, what day do you candle an egg? I should have put that in there. That's my fault. Um, from what I've read, day seven, eight, nine is about a good time to candle the eggs. Why do you candle the eggs? To see if they're developing, to make sure they're fertile, and whatever's not fertile, go ahead and get them out of there. So um, I did make a mistake. <laughs> um, as you guys know, I'm new to this. I've never done it. Backyard Farms with Hatchmate is who sent us this incubator. And I always email them um, our videos so that they can see them and see what we're doing uh, with their incubator. And also if I do something wrong so that they can tell me. Um, they did email me back and said, hey, there is an attachment that you put on that flashlight that you candle with to make it easier to see. Ta-da! This is what you put on the candler so you can set the egg on it and see better. A lot of you guys said, hey, you should try a paper towel or a uh, toilet paper roll or maybe make a cone, something like that. But because Hatchmate is so smart, they already did that. Cassie just wasn't smart enough to figure that out. So that does come with it and it makes it a whole lot easier. So it makes it kind of funnel up there and then you stick your egg on top and all your light doesn't escape. So that makes a lot more sense. So what do you do on lockdown day? Well, on lockdown day, you take the egg turner out, you take that top tray out, and you put them directly down on the hatching tray. So we're gonna do that. Um, while we do that, we're also gonna candle, make, stu make sure stuff is still growing at this point, um, which it has been 10 more days since I candled them. Um, I have been told that you can sometimes see the little chickens moving around and things, and that would be pretty awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and do a quick run through of them, candle them. I probably won't show you every single one of them because I'm gonna be trying to do this quickly. I don't wanna leave it open very long. Um, if I see something cool, I'll let you know. All right, so I turned the light off, but it is a little daylight outside. So it's not super dark, but we'll see what we can do. I may have to take them into the closet to actually candle them. Um, a lot of you guys have told me, get them away from that window. Well, this is the setup I picked, so I've just been going with it and to see what happened. So um, I have put this towel around it because it has helped to keep the heat in a little better and the humidity seems to stay better. Um, it looks pretty good. The hydrometer is right here in the front where I can easily read it all the time. They sent me this hydrometer and I would say that although it says you don't have to have it, it made me feel a lot better because I knew when I should add water and things um, because I've, I just haven't done this a whole lot. So the hydrometer does not come with it, but I would say go ahead and get one. It tells you your humidity and your temperature, and it's made me get, have some peace of mind because of it. So we're gonna go ahead, there's not an on and off switch. Um, you just simply unplug it, and that's how you turn it off. So we're gonna remove the top, and it is a hatch mate. And again, I absolutely love this. It has been super easy to use and understand. Um, I'm gonna take the hydrometer out because we'll probably have to place it a little bit differently. When it's time for lockdown, you're going to take the egg turner out. Some of those are kind of tight, so let's just pull these out. I don't wanna mess that up at all. So egg turner goes out. And as you see, and I've said every time, this is my favorite thing is that it, the egg turner is adjustable. No matter what you're hatching the size, you just ad adjust it to what you need. Okay, so they are on the um, incubator tray. That needs to come out and put them on the hatching tray. Maybe I should have, maybe I should just take them each out. Let's do that. I'd hate to bust any. So we're just gonna take them out. Like so, you take the incubator tray out, okay? Take that one out, set it aside, and then you're left with the hatching tray, okay? So how do you know the difference? The hatching tray has these little um, feet on it. So it's got some water down there. I wonder why you clean that, it's kind of gross.
I'm gonna go ahead and clean that because it kind of has a smell. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I'm going to. All right, so I got some napkins and I'm just going to soak the water up with them. And then I'm gonna clean the bottom and I'll add more water because it has a little bit of a film and a little bit of a smell. So, I have been told that if you get an egg with a crack in it, it, they smell really bad. And to make sure you get those out quickly, I have not noticed that happening. Okay. All right, I guess you guys could have a light on for this. That might would help. So uh, 100 milliliters of water, put it in the bottom. Okay, put the hatching tray back down. I'm sorry, this is the best angle I could do. And then we'll put the eggs in like so. Their eggs are still super warm, I can feel it. And then we'll put the hydrometer, let's just put it right here in the middle of them. Okay. Now, um, let's examine each egg for cracks while we have the light on. Do not see any cracks on that one. The, the eggs feel super heavy compared to what they would normally feel like. Oh, geez. So that is a good sign, I would say because I'm sure they're heavy because there is a baby chick inside. So I do not see any cracks, any blemishes. Everything is looking good. I got them a little bit wet, but we're gonna hope that's okay. All right, everything looks good. Let's candle a few of them and see what we can see. Let's see how dark we actually have to have it to see anything. Well, probably pretty dark because I can't see a thing. I moved inside the closet. I got this little thing on the flashlight. Put the egg up. Start spinning it. All y'all said you couldn't see last time. You told me to try a different camera angle. I'm not real sure how I should do it, but... I can definitely tell something's in there. Do not see movement. Ooh, I can really tell something's in there now. You guys see those veins? Look at all those veins. See the difference in the air pocket? And then it goes into that. For sure, for sure, for sure, chicken in that one. All right, so let's get all this put back together. We got, actually, I'm not gonna be able to see that without opening it if it's like that. I'll leave it like that where I had it. So I put the hydrometer back where it was so I can see in and see what it reads. Um, and then I'm just gonna set the eggs like this. That should be fine. Put the lid back on, it doesn't have a turner. Put the lid back on, make sure it's on good. Plug it back in. So this little thing has been my lifeline. There's so many websites and YouTube videos and all the things that tells you humidity and degrees and all that. And I feel like you ask five people, you get 10 different answers. So I'm going by what Backyard Farms Hatchmate um, instruction little booklet says. So um, on chickens, day 18 is lockdown. Lockdown temp is three. 37.5 Celsius. It was 37.9. Now I'm going to bump it down to 37.5. Okay. And then I hit set and it's going to start um, coming back up because obviously I had it open. It's at 32.1 Celsius right now. Um, and then the, it says the humidity needs to be between 70 and 85%. A lot of people say that's not right. <laughs> um, during the rest of the one through 18 days, it said 55 
to 70% humidity. So I've been keeping it around that. Now it's saying 70 to 85. Like I said, people do it differently. Their eggs still hatch. So <laughs> Gary says, if a chicken can hatch some eggs, we should be able to hatch some eggs. So um, the chicken doesn't know if it's what the humidity is. The chicken doesn't know the exact temperature and she doesn't add water. So she just sits on top and does her best. I'm not sitting on top, but I'm doing my best. So I'm going by what they say. If it doesn't turn out, I'll adjust it next time. Like I said, I have been using this towel. It seems to kind of help. I don't know if it's because it's by the window or what, but I put this towel around it. When I say that the towel seems to help, what I mean is it seems to be more consistent, possibly because it's by the window and the uh, temperature one day is 40 degrees and the next day it's 80 outside. We have uh, fairly good windows. So next time I'll choose a different little setup and we'll see how that goes. Lockdown um, has now started. It is Sunday, October 25th at 425. In the next, uh, say it takes 21 days for them to hatch. So in the next three to five days, We'll see what happens. Um, eggs can hatch differently on different days, depending on your humidity, your temperature, how fresh they were, all those things. So I'm going to give them more than 21 days if I have to, uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing them in the next um, day, day and a half. Thank you again to Backyard Farm for sending us this Hatchmate. We absolutely love it. Um, I think I'm going to be addicted to incubating eggs. Everyone told me to be careful because um, it's addicting. But I think that I will be taking this to school. You guys know I'm a PE teacher and I also do an outdoor class along with that. Pretty sure I'm going to be hatching eggs all the time because this has been so easy. Um, not easy, but it's time consuming. But it's been uh, fun, and I think my students at school would love this. So uh, Backyard Farms, thank you so much for sending this to us. We're almost done, and we'll see if Cassie did it somewhat right or not. So like I said, I did the candling wrong. I should have used this little attachment. I just did it in the closet, and it did help a lot. So duh, Cassie. That's why that piece was in there. Down in the description, there's a link to our Amazon store. You can find the Hatchmate in there. Um, by using our link, we would truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, puts a little money back in the account to feed the animals and do the things we love. Uh, so head on down, down to the description, click on our Amazon store, get you a Hatchmate and whatever else in there you can find that we use around our farm. Thank you guys. Love you. Have a great, great day. God bless. Uh -huh.